Thank you for joining me here. I'm Maggie, and this is the second round of glutes. So if you have not started with the first round, please do, because we are going to start on the left side, and we've already done the right side. Um, again, you will only need a block for this and your mat. Come, join me. We are going to start on all fours. So we're going to work again with the left leg, yeah? So I invite you to um, come onto elbows and your knees. So your elbows can be directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips. I'm going to join you face in this direction. Um, go ahead and as you place your elbows, interlace your fingers. Uh, this would be the pinky closest to you inside so that both hands are equally planted on the earth. Exhale, bring the front ribs into the body and pop the upper back, spreading shoulder blades. Place the right foot into the ground. Strength helps to build proper alignment. So as you press that right foot down, notice that the right ankle may lift. <clears throat> and here you're gonna bring your left foot flat towards the ceiling. Inhale, twice down. Exhale, up. We'll take a few more. Twice down, exhale, up. Inhale, twice down. Exhale, up. Inhale, twice down. Keeping shoulder blades nice and wide. Exhale, that's five. Exhaling the belly to the spine. Really press with the inner foot towards the sky. And we'll come to halfway here. Remember, we're not trying to send the knee above the glute. Both knees remain at 90 degrees. Use the breath. Exhale up. Inhale down. Five more. Halfway. And on two more. And the last one we're going to pause here. Assure that your knee is hip height. We're going to pulse. I'm trying to isolate just the glute. Now this will be the inner outer upper glute. We're going to exhale the belly to the spine. Press into the right foot and the elbows equally. Spread the shoulders and we'll continue for 10 more. Again, like you may have chosen on the right side, you can do 40 instead of 20 of each of these reps. Five more. All right, we're going to take that Left foot to the right, toes are tucked. Stretch that left side, ready, feels good, hope. Inhale, lift, only hip height. Take it over to the left. Soft landing, don't stub your toes. And inhale, okay, we're gonna exhale across. Again, these are 20. Now adjust your elbows under the shoulders. They should be shoulder distance apart. Inhale to the left, exhale across. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Again, remaining upper body floating up. We're halfway now. Ten more. Feeling it possibly in that right glute. We're going to get those <laughs> all cared for in just a bit. As much as we empower the legs, we will relieve them with a proper stretch, leaving you in good alignment to allow your body one to heal, your heart to heal. Two more. Nicely done. Okay, come on to the hands. And we're gonna bring that left leg in front, knee to nose. Plant that 
left knee there. Cross, left knee's in front of right. Go ahead and spread the thighs, sorry, calves wide. Feel free to bring your sitting bones onto a block. Now, that can be first level block, or it can be, careful, second level. It tends to be more wobbly that level, all right? You can also take your seat to the ground. Go ahead, twist first to your right. Inhale, over to the left. Okay, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna do one more on each side. Yeah, inhale, exhale. Press with the outer feet into the ground. This will help align and stretch the hips equally. And I may have miscounted. We'll take one last one on each side. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Keep this simple. We're going to move feet facing forward. We're going to come onto our right side body. And you can use your right arm as a pillow. Or you can plant, I like this for my neck, the head onto a, onto a block. I like to put the block behind the arm. Yeah. Here we have the knees coming right in front of the hips. Right? So it's almost like a fetal position, but not quite. Fetus, sorry, fetal. Yeah fetal position. Fetal, um, the knees are a little higher than the hips. I invite you to bring the knees hip height. And now we're going to take fingertips. Remember that doming hand that we're bringing fingertips to the outer thigh. So that's the high outer thigh. We're going to press down as much as we lift up. Now we don't have to lift higher than the hip. Yep. Active left foot. I'm sure you can guess how many reps here. Mm -hmm. Right, 20. Now, again, you are more than welcome to extend this. Pause me and take 40 reps if you choose. Again, if you want more or less, this is your practice, your time. But it's active and uh, toes are spread, but they're soft. They can even curl if you choose. Now, the hand is as important as the knee, as the foot. We need to press the thumbs and the pinky and all other fingers into the thigh. We'll take five more while we lift the elbow. Three more, creating space in our lungs to breathe. And one, nicely done. Here we go. Stretch the left arm and left leg. Oh, nice. Maybe the head will lift here, okay. Exhale, elbow to knee. Think of the underside, the torso, as lifting from the ground, all right? That right side body is not laying, it's rising. Okay, so we're gonna take 10 of these. Again, if you wanna take 20, feel free. And we're gonna take now five more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Great. Inhale, three more. Inhale, lengthen, stretch. Last one. And exhale, we're gonna plant this left foot in front. Yeah, rest your head back on the block or your arm, your choice. <clears throat> so that left foot is on the ground firm and you're resisting that left foot into the hand. Knee is straight up, ideally, right? You can even play lifting that left heel off the ground and now rise that right leg. I like to roll to the meteor part of my hip, so back a bit, um, so that the inner thigh, the part that's working is the front inner thigh. Um, this part of the inner thigh helps to open the low back, sacrum, lumbar, and spread. So the more we engage, awaken, and um, Kind of heighten attention to that front inner thigh, the more access we have to spread and widen our inner thighs, okay? Which we will do in a second uh, as we roll into our back. Take this for five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done, lower. 
Okay, this block, you can remove it to the side. And the top knee, that's your left knee, you hold that with your right hand. Now you plant that foot on your right thigh and grab opposite foot, opposite hand and behind, okay? So you're gonna go first, lean to your right. And then you're gonna work by bending that top elbow, your left elbow, bend it, roll that shoulder on the back and bend that elbow towards the ground behind you. And now you're on the back of your head, right? Of course, left knee's lifted. Now resist, outer leg and hand, resist there, that's the way. And then as you resist, it means that the way that that knee might lower is a bit more integrated, more holistic, I would call it more in harmony, yeah. A little soft opening with resistance, keeps that integrity. Breathe. And now we get to come onto our back body. Okay, so we're gonna place our feet hip distance apart and widen them. Elbows, they can open up nice and wide or take the hands, dome them above your head so thumbs reach towards your head. Elbows are high. You're gonna exhale side to side. If you desire more stability, open your elbows nice and wide, pop in the chest. And then um, I'm going to stretch the outer glutes first and then the inner thighs last, okay? These windshield wipers are getting more towards opening our IT band. Sitting back here, running all the way across side and front of hip and pelvis. And then we pause that. We're gonna take that right knee over, left ankle on top, and we're gonna resist. You see, you resist the outer knee and left ankle and flex both feet. For full delight, completing the, the pose, reach arms overhead. The left hand grabs the right wrist. Pull, 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 nice. Okay, breathe here for three. Active feet, resist that outer right thigh to the left outer ankle. And then exhale with the belly up to center. Okay, change sides please. I'm gonna bring the left knee to the right heel, right outer ankle to the left knee. And we're gonna reach the arms over the head. This time you're gonna grab your um, your left wrist. So right hand grabs left wrist. Important here, you're resisting that left knee up. You're pressing the outer ankle down. Keep pulling mm -hmm. for three. Rest the shoulders down the back. Two, active feet, full heart. That's the way, all right, and now, sorry, exhale, use the belly back to center, yeah. Before we go into um, pigeon, we're gonna take a little happy baby, side, side, inner feet. If you hear little feet and little voices behind these walls, my better selves are there. <laughs> Press with your inner feet up, they are what and who is making this video possible, <laughs> especially my better half. Press um, inner feet high. And your happy baby can be grabbing the knees, rocking side to side. And uh, I'm gonna come center, shoulders drop. Plant feet, we're gonna take a little supine version of pigeon, okay? so. Left ankle over right knee. We're going to thread the needle, bringing the hands choice behind thigh or top calf. Okay, this is a little more advanced, meaning um, not advanced mentally per se, but just if your hip is more open or your hamstring more open, mainly hip, you would take this option. If your knee has any issues, which most of us have issues in our knees, Take the outer, sorry, back of the thigh. Resist that thigh push away. 
And then also resist the top ankle and open that left knee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to resist to straighten that leg, you can. This may be enough here, 90 degrees. If you're straightening, you have a choice of grabbing that big toe. And then this left hand can be used to help guide the inner thigh kind of away. So you're not pressing on the knee, you're pressing on the meaty part of the inner thigh. Heel of the palm presses on the meaty inner thigh. Working now that shoulder to the ground. Now, of course, you can do the same right here. Pressing on the inner meaty thigh, working it there towards the chest. We'll bring now both legs towards the sky. Hmm. Soften the jaw and change. Left heel, sorry, foot to the ground. Right ankle atop the left knee. We'll thread this needle and bring now your choice, hands to the top of the calf or behind that left thigh. Yes, that right elbow can serve in a purpose to open that right knee. And you can work that left leg and press the leg away if you want. I like to close my eyes here. Um, my students, I see them kind of bite their jaw in the beginning. So I invite you to soften the jaw and the end of this pose. It's actually hard to get them out because <laughs> they've met their, their place where their, the ah happens, the ooh and the ah. Your choice, you can bring now that, the left piece fingers, the big toe, Heel of that palm towards the inner right thigh. And you push, yeah, there's a down and away, right? Down and away. And it's mid thigh. And breathe for three, two, and one. Release that foot to the ground. Release the right foot. And bring knees towards you. This time you're going to open the knees. Press the feet together. Drop the shoulders and breathe. You're welcome to follow into Shavasana here. I will also lead you in Shavasana and my following clip. If you'd like to join me there, roll to a seat and continue viewing. Thank you for coming and I hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night.